Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here. You know, it's important that we have stories to pass on to people. And down through the generations, you know, the people in Alaska had stories that they told their native people about things that happened to them, and then people grew in spirit because of that, and they learned lessons, or they went out and experienced it themselves so that they could learn the lessons and being guided by these stories. It's important that we get out and do more than playing with our Nintendos and our iPads and looking at our computers because life is out there. It really is. And uh, I find so many kids nowadays are just playing on the internet. And it's kind of sad. You know, even Buddha, he had the life of luxury. <laughs> you know, he didn't have to go anywhere or do anything, and he had all these women around him and everything. But eventually he found that it was pleasure that was holding him back from really experiencing life and what it was all about. So we have to go out. You know, some of the worst times in my life were some of the greatest stories that I can pass on to other people. And what you can do in your life is to pass on those stories, which is more important than anything else you can do in your life. If you don't do anything else, just pass on the story. And it's important that we pass on these stories. You know, what happens if all this electronic stuff disappears? The stories will still be there. What about a man that I know who went out and, you know, he would... He was afraid of climbing, and he forced himself to climb up the face of Half Dome. And it was like an exhilarating thing for him to overcome this. And another woman I know that was terrified of, you know, cold conditions, and she got on the Iditarod and decided to go do that with somebody, not in a race, but behind them. And... It was a great story that she overcame that obstacle within her. Now, of the people who put on a backpack and go backpacking across Europe, and they have great stories to talk about. It's about us creating these stories that we can come back with, you know. I, I know I've talked about this before, but living in a six-by-nine room for a year... And uh, with no windows, no water, no bathroom, no nothing. And being able to experience myself deep down inside, that's another story that I share because it was true and it happened to me. And even some of the hardships that we go through are important. And because everybody needs to know about that. And when we share from our heart, from our authentic place of truth there can be no greater gift when somebody shares with me their greatest truth maybe I don't even connect with that truth but when they share with me that greatest truth that's the most wonderful gift I can receive to allow yourself to experience life out there you came to this plane to experience that life and allow yourself to know that it is possible for you to make a difference in somebody else's life by sharing your story. And your story is important. Now if you're just sitting around the house and <laughs> playing with the Nintendo and playing with the iPad, then it's going to be kind of boring. You got to get out. Like I said, life is out there. And all the great seekers, all the ones who were looking to make a difference in life, all went out there. You know, look at Buddha. He went out and taught for 41 years. Now Jesus, you know, doing sermons on the Mount and everywhere. I'm not saying that you have to go preach or do anything like that, but go out and create your own great life. That's what it's all about. 
Have a wonderful day. I love you.